October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The American Cancer Society is urging women to get their annual mammograms after a sharp decline during the pandemic. But many have been worried about how perhaps the COVID-19 vaccine might affect a mammogram result. WCNC Charlotte Sarah French verifies it for us. Mammograms are an essential way to screen for breast cancer, but since the pandemic began, women and men have been putting them off. And then once the COVID-19 vaccine came out, some began wondering, can the COVID-19 vaccine lead to a false positive mammogram? Let's verify. Our sources are Dr. Laura Dean, a breast cancer specialist with Cleveland Clinic, the American Cancer Society, Kaiser Permanente, and the CDC. According to both the CDC and the American Cancer Society, one of the side effects of the vaccine is swollen lymph nodes under the arm where you got the injection. According to Kaiser Permanente, the swelling is a natural response as your body's immune system makes antibodies and trains cells to protect you. However, this is causing concern for many because it can mimic a breast lump. Dr. Dean says it's important for women to know there's a possibility for mammogram pictures to pick up a swollen lymph node, which may result in additional ultrasound testing. However, she says this is common and women shouldn't be alarmed. If we do see lymph node enlargement on a screening mammogram, what the Society of Breast Imaging is recommending is that essentially we bring the patients back, do a targeted ultrasound just to get a good idea of what those lymph nodes look like, and then we're just monitoring them. So yes, the COVID-19 vaccine can lead to a false positive mammogram, but it's just a temporary reaction to receiving the shot. The Society of Breast Imaging recommends women still get their vaccine and then schedule a mammogram at least four weeks after their second dose so the swelling can go down. However, they suggest not waiting if you're overdue for a mammogram or have symptoms. By the way, this isn't unique to the COVID-19 vaccine either. Experts say vaccines for the flu, pneumonia, shingles, and tetanus can also swell lymph nodes. As always, if you're ever concerned about something, call your doctor. With your Verify, I'm Sarah French. Sarah, thank you. And if you see something online that you'd like our Ver Verify team to check out, let us know. You can drop us an email or text us a number. You, all the information right there on your screen.